wish you a good day welcome to dhs informatics in this video we are going to discuss about wild animal classification using deep learning deep learning is nothing but an it is an one type of neural network and it is a advanced concept of advanced concept of machine learning algorithms machine learning is again it is a subdivision of artificial intelligence we can call this uh, project as a computer vision also artificial intelligence with computer vision also we can we can able to say because this project using open cv open cv means computer vision okay where this uh, project will be useful for example you are having a farmland near to a forest area or uh, near the uh, some uh, uh, mountain and other thing okay there may be chances uh, of entering a wild animal like a elephant cheetah enter into a farm okay so that we need a system that system has to analyze that the entered animal is a wild animal or it is a domestic animal or it's a pet animal kind of thing correct no so that it is not possible for a one human to sit and observe 24 bar 7 so that we can implement the system and uh, deploy it on your farmland it will able to understand which type of animal is entering it is a wild animal means it will give a beep sound or it will send a message to you in an email or sms like that we can able to do okay before entering into this uh, video you are not subscribed to our channel dhs informatics i request you to press the subscribe button below this video and press the bell item to get our next updates thank you this project comes under the domain deep learning already i told you deep learning is uh, nothing but an it is a neural network it is an advanced concept of the machine learning and in the deep learning there are three type of neural networks are there artificial neural network recurrent neural network and uh, uh, one more thing convolution neural network for image classification in this project we are using a convolution neural network we are using the deep learning is a class of machine learning algorithm that uses multi-layer to progressively extract the high level features in deep learning we no need to write a coding to extract the features automatically it will be extracted uh, by itself deep learning for the system like a car without gears like that automatic cars well whereas the machine learning is a car with gear okay understand and uh, how it will be extract the features and how it will be identified means mainly based on the edges even human also we can able to identify whether it is an elephant or tiger or lion based on the edges only no that will based on that only it will be identified the technology used in projects are python we are developing this project with uh, python 3.6 or 3.7 and uh, concept we are using deep learning and open cv we are using sidekit learn and sklearn sklearn sidekit learn both are same only and we are using convolution neural network with the uh, pre-processing technique gabber filter wild animal recognition and uh, classification is an important area which has not discussed rapidly earlier there is no much need now uh, it is frequently happening animals are entering into the farmland and even animals are entering into the uh, villages near the forest area so that this type of protection system is very very important uh, human can able to understand that the animal is a wild animal or domestic animal but uh, a computer to understand this is not a uh, very easy the animal detection and recognition are still a difficult challenge and there is a no unique method that provides a robust and efficient solution to all the situation but in this system we are going to provide the robust solution and high accuracy okay animal detection algorithm implementation and uh, animal detection or the binary pattern classification earlier they are using binary pattern classification system they used in existing now we are not using the binary pattern classification we are using the multi multiple classification we are using that is a multiple class classification we are using we are not going to detect uh, either it is a dog or cat uh, now we are going to detect uh, multiple animals uh, maybe 5 10 20 based on our requirement we can able to detect uh, Features from the animals that belongs to the certain class are used to train the certain classifier. But here in this system, earlier is a machine learning. Now in the deep learning, the features are selected by automatically by the convolution neural network so that it will easily identify the which type of animal. 
In the proposed system, we are using a low resolution images and mainly we are identifying the animal based on their face. Based on the face, we are doing that. Because in the farmland and other things, they are using CCTV camera. No. In the CCTV camera thing, the resolution will be less. Even the resolution is less also, we have to identify it properly. No. So that we are using Gabber filter in that. We are using CNN, which can automatically extract the features and identify and classify what type of animal. It will send the notification uh, through mail or SMS to the concerned person. It is system architecture. Uh, we can see that I am bringing the mouse pointer. The wild uh, uh, animal image data set we are giving. We have to do the Gabber filter. Before that, we have to use the resizing the image and uh, normalization process and apply the Gabber filter. And we will go with a uh, data splitting. 80% data go to the training and 20% data will go to the testing. That 80% data go to the, the training the model using CNN classification once the model is trained it is saturated it will give the validation model that is a trained model for the trained model we are giving a test data for example i'm giving a, a hundred uh, lion images and hundred elephant images uh, yeah, the prediction it is predicted nearly 190 images correctly means my algorithm is 95 uh, percent accurate like that we can able to say for that we have to do confusion matrix okay i will give you the below that what is machine learning introduction and a confusion and matrix other thing in the description link uh, you can click that you will get a more idea about that the models in this projects are data collection image acquisition and pre-processing data preparation and model construction model training and model testing and evaluation these are the modules involved in this project these are the sample data set we can use any data set we can use it is a restriction is based on your computer memory size only. We can use any number of classification. This is a system architecture of the convolution neural network. Uh, convolution neural network it has the input layer and output layer. Apart from the input layer, output layer, in between, it will ask the convolutional layer, RELU, rectified linear unit layer, max pooling or uh, median pooling layer, then it have the fully connected layers are there. We have to build this structure to give the good accuracy, then we have to uh, deploy the project. The Gabber filter, what is the advantage of the Gabber filter means uh, it will be clearly project the edges because edges are playing the big uh, uh, role in uh, identifying the animal in the convolution neural network. So that you can see that image A is an elephant before Gabber filter. After applying the Gabber filter, it will give the edges very neatly so that based on the edges we can able to detect uh, properly what type of animal. The operating system used uh, in this system is uh, Windows and uh, coding language is python we developed uh, using anaconda framework on jupyter notebook jupyter notebook is integrated development environment it is a user interface also so that whatever you are feeding the data you will get the output immediately below and libraries are numpy scikit-learn tensorflow kairos pandas and matplotlib we are using hope you watch this video fully and uh, thanks for listening Handle your academic project easily to visit www.dhsinformatics.com which uh, you will get a more topics also in this website. For, feel free to communicate with us on 9886092401 or 9845166723. So that you like this video, press the like button and share it to the, your friends who those who are looking for a project and uh, you, you want any new project ideas. Please mention in the comment, definitely we will able to develop your own ideas and give to you. Thanks for listening.